Oh hell a bit, it's your boy Big Bid B and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. Today we are back with another video, but this time we are doing things a tad bit different. See, we've done videos like this in the past, but we talked about ways to improve your style, up your game. But today, I'm giving you seven colognes that instantly make your fragrance collection cooler. And speaking of cool fragrances, why not start it off with the fragrance that I believe makes your fragrance cool. Well, to me, this one has this cooling effect to it. This one comes from the house of Gallagher Fragrances, and this one is amongst waves. Now, I've had this one in my collection for a few years now, and I've always talked about, at least in the times that I've talked about it, I talked about how cooling this fragrance makes me feel. This fragrance has green apple honeydew. You have some aquatic notes in this one as well. And again, this has that cooling, calming effect. Now, I personally chose to put this one in a cool fragrance spot. But I want to know what you will put in any of these spots that we talk about today. So the first one to make your fragrance collection instantly cooler is a cool fragrance from the house of Gallica Fragrances. The next cologne you need in your fragrance collection to instantly make it cooler is a Hype Beast fragrance. Now it doesn't have to be the one that I'm talking about today, which is this one from the house of Jean-Paul Gaultier and Supreme. This one is Lamar in Navy Supreme, okay? This one was kinda a waste of money, but it's an interesting talking point, all right? I spent way too much for this fragrance instantly. It sold originally for, I think, $89, and within hours it was well over the $250 price point. Now, I'm not saying that this one is the best fragrance to have, but it's definitely one if you wanna be cool, like a hype beast, okay? Interesting talking point, something that you can bring up in conversation and all of the trendy people are going to say, you know what, that guy's cool, all right? <laughs> so, in my Hype Beast collection, I have Supreme John paul Gaultier collection. This one came out 2019, kinda, sorta. I know what you're thinking, Big B, B, I'm not a Hype Beast, that's fine. The next clone you need in your fragrance collection to instantly make it more cooler is a fragrance that you are passionate about about put your heart into this one all right so i can self-admittedly say that i've been passionate about black phantom since it's been in my collection and most people put big beard b and by killian in you know black phantom all in the same category and that's why i feel like you need a fragrance that you're passionate about one that you can speak to so you're talking to someone who's like why are you so passionate about these fragrance things? It means nothing to me. You can explain to them with enthusiasm and you might be able to turn them, all right? Might be able to make them think, you know what? I wanna try some fragrances myself, all right? So one you need to have in your collection to make it more cooler, a little bit cooler, up your game a bit more is the fragrance that you are passionate about. I talked about Black Phantom in terms of the presentation, the smell, everything about that fragrance. I truly enjoy the Mrs. Loves It and I think I gave it a 10 out of 10. If I didn't, God damn it, it gets a 10 out of 10 from your boy. All right, so make sure you speak about your fragrances with passion. Or at least have one in your collection you can speak about with enthusiasm. Next up, I would say you need to have a niche fragrance in your collection to give it that next level of style and up it and make it a tad bit cooler. All right, so when you're thinking about niche fragrances, man, the easiest way in the game for me, in my personal opinion, and some of you may disagree with this based on price point, but... Traditionally, if people hit me up, they say, Big Bid B, where can I find a Creed fragrance? And specifically, they're talking about Aventus. So why not do it because everyone else is doing it, right? So you need a niche fragrance, and I feel like that this one, Creed, and obviously Creed Aventus, one of the best-selling fragrances from the house, is readily available in almost any luxury department store that you go to. They'll have some Creed fragrances there, and obviously Aventus being one of the top-selling fragrances from the house, the salespeople there will also be excited and delighted to show you this fragrance here. So overall, I think that Creed Aventus is one that you need to have in your collection. You understand what the hype is about, and it also fills a few spaces on this list. It fills your hype. It also fills that niche spot that you may need. All right, so I get it. You got your cooling fragrance. You got your hype beast fragrance. You got your niche fragrance. And you had that fragrance that you are passionate about. So now you need a fragrance for the novelty. You need a fragrance with a cool name. And one of the coolest names I've seen in quite some time comes from the house of Tom Ford. And it's Tom Ford's fucking fabulous. All right? Not saying that this fragrance is fucking fabulous. You may 
feel that way or you may not. But the name in itself is going to make people want to smell it. And I think that is a great conversation starter. Look, man, in my experience with this fragrance, when I mention the name, people instantly want to know more. Why is it named that? Can they sell it in a store named that way? Well, yes, they can, but some stores block it out, which is just fucking weird. All right? If the name is Tom Ford Fucking Fabulous, then that's what I want you to call it. Okay? Little essay. I mean, S as in S dot A. Sales Associate. I don't even know if that looked right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some other names like fucking fabulous, which has caught my attention over the years are like Gypsy Water and Elevator Music, both from the house of Byredo, but I think those are interesting names as well. What are some of the most interesting fragrance names for you? Comment down below, cause I need to know. Oh, bars. So the next cologne you need in your fragrance collection to instantly make it cooler is a trendy fragrance. And I think the name says it all. If you want to make your fragrance collection cooler when speaking to someone, then obviously you have to have a fragrance that they can relate to. And trendy fragrances are ones that are everywhere. And right now, I think for the past few years or so, Something that has been really trendy in the fragrance world, not in the fragrance community, but in the fragrance world is Embroxin, right? And any Embroxin type of variant. Coach for Men is solid in my opinion, and one that I've talked a lot about since its actual release. And they also have a Coach Platinum for those of you out there who want it amped up just a bit more. Now, this is also one that you can pick up at a much discounted rate online. So, you know, feel free to look around online before you buy this one in store, unless you just got it like that. You want to go in there and spend that retail money. I salute you. And last but not least, the final type of fragrance you need in collection to make it cooler is one that people can relate to. One that you can tell a story about and they understand it. All right. The one that they smell it and they say, you know what? I get it. It makes sense, you smart. And this one for me is, for now it's about Chilean, and this one is Apple Brandy. All right, when I talk to someone about this fragrance and I explain what they're about to smell when they smell it, they're like, you know what, you're right. And even if I'm wrong, I'm right. And let me explain why. When I give the background on this fragrance, when I, you know, I prep them up, you know, I say, look, man, the founder of this fragrance house is from the lineage of Hennessy. And you, you're familiar with Hennessy, right? They're like, oh, yeah, something made with Hennessy. It makes sense. And I explain to them, you know, everything that that, that house and that, that family embodies. And I explain what they're about to smell. I'm not a drinker like that, all right? I'm not sure if this actually smells like apple brandy, but when I tell them this smells like apple brandy and they take all that into consideration, they say, you know what, Big Bad B? It smells like apple brandy. So even if I'm wrong, I'm right. All right, so this makes perfect sense, man. A fragrance that you can tell a story about and when they smell it, it clicks. Okay, it just makes sense. So those are seven colognes you need in your collection to instantly make them cooler. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave each one listed down in the description box. I want to know which fragrances in your collection fill these voids. All right, comment down below and let us know because we all want to know. Did I miss anything? Are there any fragrances out there you said Big B B? This one needs to be in your collection to make it cooler. This fragrance is going to take it to the next level. We all want to know because we all want to take it to the next level. As always, I'm your boy, Big B B. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And you already know what to do. Hit the goddamn.